Hello, my little friends. Today's story is the Enthusiastic Garden Party. But before we start, I always tell you about today's treasure hunt. In today's book reading, in one of the scenes, you're going to be looking for a carrot. Our main character is Rosie the rabbit, and she misplaced a carrot that she was going to use to make lunch tomorrow. This is what the carrot looks like. Now, my name is Papa, and I love to read books to my little friends. And today's book is The Enthusiastic Garden Party. And so, with that, we shall begin. Once upon a time, in a charming little village, there was a beautiful garden where flowers of all colors bloomed and animals lived happily together. One sunny day, the animals decided to host a special garden party to celebrate their friendship in the heart of the garden, the gentle rabbit named Rosie took charge of organizing the party. She wanted everyone to be excited and happy, so she invited all of her friends. Henry the Hedgehog, Lily the Squirrel, and Benny the Butterfly, and many others. As the invitations were sent out, Rosie emphasized the importance of enthusiastic consent. She wanted every animal to feel comfortable attending the party, and she knew that it was essential to respect each other's choices. On the day of the party, the garden was buzzing with excitement. The animals arrived, dressed in their finest outfits, carrying colorful gifts for one another. Rosie greeted everyone with a warm smile and a hug, making sure that they knew they were welcome. Before any games or activities began, Rosie gathered all the animals into a circle. She explained, In our wonderful garden, we always practice enthusiastic consent. That means that we ask each other permission before hugging, before playing a game, or even before sharing a treat. If someone doesn't feel like participating, that's okay. We will respect their decision, and it won't change our friendship. All the animals nodded, understanding the importance of respecting each other's feelings. They felt safe and cared for in the garden. The first game was a joyful dance. Benny the butterfly fluttered around, inviting each animal to dance with her. She asked, Would you like to dance with me? If an animal was eager to join in, they happily danced together. If someone preferred not to, they smiled and declined politely. Nobody felt upset or left out because they knew their friends respected their choices. Next, Henry the Hedgehog suggested playing a game of tag. He asked each animal individually, May I tag you? Some animals sprinted around, giggling as they were tagged, while others preferred to sit this one out. It was perfectly okay either way, because enthusiastic consent mattered most. As the day went on, the animals played games, shared stories, and enjoyed delicious treats. Everyone had a fantastic time because they knew they could be themselves and were respected for their choices. In the evening, as the sun set behind the trees, the animals gathered one last time to thank Rosie for the wonderful garden party. They hugged her tightly, saying, Thank you for teaching us about enthusiastic consent. We had so much fun, and we feel happy and safe here. Rosie smiled. Feeling the love and friendship surrounding her, she knew that by practicing enthusiastic consent, 
they had created a magical and harmonious garden where everyone could grow and thrive together. And so the animals continued to host garden parties, always remembering the essential lesson of enthusiastic consent. They lived happily ever after, knowing that respect and kindness and understanding made their friendship stronger than ever before. I am a place where animals play with glee, the poem began. I'd like to show you this poem. I am a place where animals play with glee, a garden of wonders you'll soon see, with flowers bright and friendships dear. Our party's joy will make it clear in this magical world of fun and grace enthusiastic consent takes its place before we dance or games we play we ask may i to have our say with rosy leading hearts all aglow we respect each other this we know a garden party happy and grand where friendships bloom and love will stand wasn't that a great book a great story about enthusiastic consent. When, when we are with other people and we want to do a thing, play a game or dance or give someone a hug, we ask them if it's okay if, they, if we can do that or if it's okay if they want to participate. And people can say yes or no, and we should make it safe for people to answer honestly. And when people answer honestly and say they want to do something and with excitement, that's enthusiastic consent. And here I am, Papa, reading you a story, hoping to teach you these lessons so that we can create a better and healthier world. Did you find the carrot? It was on this slide. Here it is. I've circled it and put an arrow to it. Did you find it? For those of you that did, good job. For those of you that didn't, no big deal. You're welcome to listen to this story again, and then you can find it the next time. And also, you can tune into other episodes and listen to me and Nana read stories, and we'll have items there for you to find as well in a scavenger hunt. Thank you for joining me today in this episode of Story Seeds for Kids. This is Papa, and this was the story, The Enthusiastic Garden Party. Have a great day. <laughs>